my look for today i enjoyed creating it i wanted to do something soft romantic i sprayed a little bit of this guy on this is the chanel 5 i love this guy this is my second bottle and i'm almost done if it's your first time here welcome my name is carolina i just went ahead and filmed this tutorial on my hair you see now like i feel like because i filmed it my hair is acting up so i don't know maybe i might keep the footage maybe not i don't know i don't know but um just because my hair is acting up so much but really quickly i wanted to do a real talk thursday so just a chit chat with you guys and then um just kind of like an update because the last time i did a real like a real talk thursday was um months ago i think the only video that i have up is um the my first one the like my introduction and um i haven't done an update so we're in april today's april 2nd it's a thursday and we are going through quarantine 2020. And when I started my channel, I never thought that this was going to be a part of it. But it is. So here we are. My hair is a part of my journey. My skin. Yo, this section right here is a part of my journey. I don't even know what's going on over here. Pero I want to do my makeup. And I want to talk. So I have my cup. It says Bendecida on it. I got this. This is very done. This is really cute, isn't it? means blessed in spanish the first product i'm going in with is the belief true cream moisture balm i'm going with this guy i have dry skin i enjoy this guy a lot now really quickly i did post a video was it my last video i can't even remember but i did post a video of me with a mask on yeah i got my mask february 6th that's when I ordered my mask because I was watch. I've been like, okay, low key. I feel like I have to share this, so I will. For primer, I'm gonna go in with my favorite, which is the poor, the no pro problem primer, touching by Touch and Soul. It's my favorite primer. I'll link it below. Um, now, I wore my mask right, like I was saying, and yo, somebody made fun of me, like in person, like a, an essential worker was like going on me and i was like yo god bless you for real like like right now like people are scared i've been paranoid for a hot minute for foundation i'm going in with mac studio fix and nc30 i just wanted to mention them because i'm just doing my makeup and talking at the same time so i don't have a pump for this one i have a pump for my other one but i'm just putting it in the back of my hand now I had a dream, okay, and I've been contemplating to share it with you guys, but I feel like I have to. So I had a dream before Donald Trump became president, okay, because I voted for Hillary, okay? I'll put it out there because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I voted for Hillary, um, and I remember before the announcement that Donald Trump, Donald Trump was president, I had a dream that I saw a brown, like it was a brown... Um, like chestnut type of desk like it was a big office desk and on it there was a um what's it called a white piece of paper with type like it, it was typed up and it was like typewriter typing and I grew up in the 90s like I'm from 88 but I grew up in the 90s and I remember doing my reports on um I'm just putting a little extra uh a little like yeah there we go Cause I'm kind of going for like, I don't know what I'm going for. I'm just doing my makeup. I'm just, I really want to do my makeup right now. Especially cause I just did my hair. <laughs> um, and whenever I do my makeup, like my hair, I just do my makeup. Cause I'm like, Ugh, where we going? Nowhere. To the sala. To go full clothes. <laughs> but, so let me go back to my dream. So in my dream, I dreamt, um, and I'm just using a beauty blender, a white piece of paper that was typed up and it said, it said just so it was like so clear it was like president of the united states donald trump and i was like hmm like that was the only message that i got nobody else was in the room with me just that that was before they announced it and then later on it came true so when it happened i was like i knew this was like i remember like people texting me and they're like so depressed that he won and i was like i knew it was gonna happen because i dreamt it like god showed me Okay, so he showed me that truth. I had a dream that Kylie Jenner was pregnant. I had a dream before, like, I had a dream that she was pregnant before 
she even popped up with baby saying I had a baby. So I, that was in January. Okay. That was in January of 2018. I really didn't tell nobody about that. Cause I was like, that's kind of weird. And I kind of stayed quiet. Cause I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Not like, I don't care like that. She's having a baby. It's just like, I got my own stuff. It, like, I don't, like, I like her makeup. And that's probably the, the only thing I keep up with is her makeup. But, like, as for her, like, I mean, I pray for her soul. Um, I pray for all of them. Because I have had, like, I had another dream about them. But I don't even want to go into that. Like, it's freaky. Um, but, but in my dream, sorry, I'm just, like, tapping out everything. Making sure that everything looks, is evened out. But in my dream, I dreamt that Kylie Jenner was pregnant and they were trying to hide it. So when she actually came out and said, I had a baby, I was like, okay, dream number two just came true. Like I've had dreams come true, but like that one was like, I don't, I've never met Donald Trump. I've never met Kylie Jenner. Like for me to have those kind of dreams, I'm like, that's like only God, you know what I mean? Cause he knows, you can't hide anything from him. He knows. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with Laura Mercier 2.5 W. I'm gonna go, I've been favoring this guy lately. I just want to make sure everything's evened out before I go in with it. So, and I'm also going to use this as a base primer. So I had a dream. I feel like now I sound like Martin Luther King now. Um, but the dream that I had was really intense because, it, it, you know, when you have dreams and they feel really real, like, like you're there, like no one can convince you otherwise, unless when you wake up and you're like, oh, that was a dream. I dreamt she was pregnant and it came true. So that was, she was what, Stormer was born when? I actually looked it up today because I was like, when was she born? Um, so she was born in February, 2018. Now this is where it gets freaky. So I dreamt that, right? In March of 2018, I had a different dream. And I even have the receipts for that because I wrote it down. Like it scared me that much that I wrote it down. Like I woke up from my dream and I wrote it down. And I was like, nah, gosh, John, tell me something. <laughs> and I'm listening and I'm, I'm paying attention. And like for two years, two years, I've been, I was begging him. I'm like, can you help me understand what the dream meant? So the first part of my dream Okay, so there's, after the Kylie dream, that was in Feb, that was in January, and then they announced it in February of 2018, and then in, uh, in March, I had the dream in March, two years ago, um, yeah, because we're in 2020, and, hold up, let me, let me get this real quick, this guy I got at TJ Maxx, I never mentioned him, because I forgot about him, <laughs> but this is the Laura Mercier concealer, in the shade one, it's in the Candlelight Glow Conceal and Highlight. It's just like that. This one is from my personal collection, so I don't... Just a couple clicks. And I just lighten it up just a tiny bit. So the way my dream started off, it was three dreams in one. So it was one dream like this, and then another dream like this, and another dream like this. Like, it went to, like, different sections. So I remember... I remember distinctly seeing in my dream, I dreamt that was in my old neighborhood, like my old house, like the house I grew up in. And I dreamt I was sitting like in a car or I was like somewhere outside, but I remember just watching these two black guys get out the car. They like, they got the car really fast and they ran inside the house. Like not my house, but like their house, a couple of like houses down. And I remember just like, huh? And I remember like the message that, the message that like I received from that, like what I understood was that there will be a lockdown while Donald Trump was president. And I was like, you know? And in the dream, I dreamt that my mom, she couldn't get home. Cause I live with my mom and my parents. Like we all live together. Like we Latinos, okay? <laughs> we stick together. <laughs> and um, we, were, we were pretty close. And, uh, and I remember that. I remember, um, like having to talk to my mom through Skype, like she she couldn't get home, like she was stuck at a client's house, and um, it was intense. What I feel like this is we, just in these areas here. NC twenty five is my shade. I went a little darker. I would go a little darker if I'm like going out, but since I'm not, I'm just like crap. Why did I do that? <laughs> I've gone ahead and set my concealer and smile line area. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with translucent powder from MAC. I got this guy a little while ago. 
been enjoying it. It's a pressed powder just like so. I'm using a Sephora brush. I haven't used this brush yet. I got this guy at TJ Maxx for $6. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap and set my face very lightly. But yeah, like I was saying about my dream. So um, in my dream, I dreamt my mom couldn't get home. There, there was a, like a curfew and she couldn't get home. I just dreamt like there was a lockdown. Then from that dream, I hopped into a different dream. And in that dream, I dreamt I was at church. I'm LDS for those who don't know. And in the I would dreamt this was March 2018. Now any member that ever sees this are gonna be like, you know what I mean? Um, because let me explain. I dreamt we were in the chapel, which is like where we hold our sacrament meetings. I dreamt that we were there. Like everyone like I dreamt that like no one was using the room. And they were telling us to use the cultural hall, which is like the gym. And everybody was like, I don't understand why we have to use a gym, like the cultural hall, hall, if the chapel works well. And the message that I received from that was, you need to be obedient. In January 2018, 2019, sorry. So the dream was in March, okay? In January, a new program came out in our church, which was called Come Follow Me. It's what Jesus says. He says, come follow me. He actually... Oh gosh, I'm gonna cry. So I just went ahead and dusted everything off and like composed myself because I was about to cry. Because <laughs> I was thinking about like the dream that I had with Jesus. Like I had a personal dream with him and the invitation that he made to me was come follow me and that was like about five years ago. So I get a little emotional when I think about that. Like I don't mind sharing that story with you guys, but like not right now because I'm gonna cry. Um, so I'm just going in with Debutante by Morphe. I'm just going in with that same brush and I'm just gonna... I did like reverse contour, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face a little bit with that same brush that I applied the translucent powder with. I like copper tone, it's so cute. For my contour, I'm gonna go in with another color. I don't have, I don't think I have the name of it. Let me check. Oh, I do, you're so lucky. <laughs> uh, I'm so lucky actually. This is, Cativa, C-A-T-T-I-V-A, pressed minimal, mineral bronzer in the shade Deep. I like to put only a tiny bit amount. I use a Smashbox um, contour brush. This is the small one. I got this at TJ Maxx. I think I paid like $3 or something like that for this guy. I only like to place it right here just to darken up this area right here. Once in a while, I like to do this step. I grab a little bit of the translucent powder by Laura Mercier, tap off the excess, and then go over everything I just went over, like everything I just did, I like to dust off a little bit and diffuse everything. For brows, I'm gonna go in with Ebony by ABH. It's the Brow Wiz. So, like, ooh, like I was saying about my dream, okay? In my dream, um after the whole thing and okay so really quickly the thing that happened in church actually happened so the second part of my dream which i'm explaining right now actually has already happened and that part was that there was a change in the church which there was because church went from three hours to two hours and i heard some complaints some hoorays uh me as a mom with a child who has you know what? I don't even know what he has. Like, he's too little to get tested for autism, so I don't know. But he's special. That's all I can say. And for me, it's like, like, it's really hard to be in church with him, especially him. Like, my other two, they, they're fine. The church is supposed to be more um, home-based. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, that change did come about in January of 2019, which confirmed the dream that I had in March of 2018. Okay, now we're caught up. For brows, I'm gonna use ABH Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. So the third part of my dream was what really scared me. I dreamt that me and my husband were both in a boat, like a canoe, kind of. We had no paddle, no rope, no nothing. And I remember being in the middle of, the, of like, looking around, trying to see, you know, what can we do to survive? And I remember looking to my right, looking to my left 
and seeing that the trees were so far. Like, it felt like we were going over the Niagara Falls. That's what I'm trying to say. It was like Niagara Falls going off that. But you know, in Niagara Falls, the mist is white. The mist in my dream was black. Black. And you couldn't see nothing. So, mind you, it's just me and my husband in the boat, in my dream. And I see this mist of darkness. Like black mist. And I start panicking. And I start praying. And I start praying hard. Like, I've, I've told this story to like a couple of my friends. And I feel like the prayer was like, radiating out of my heart like it's kind of weird to explain but like I felt like I had put all my faith into my heart I can't cry because I have makeup on but I had like because like whenever I talk about Jesus Christ I get emotional I mean I owe him so much I'm grateful that God warned me that this was gonna happen and I wanted to put out videos before but like I've had people tell me like I've had one particular person tell me like don't do that you might scare them <laughs> And you know what? This is my channel. If I tell you guys what I'm going through, I mean, that could be Satan trying to block me. You know what I mean? Like, and if you don't believe in Satan, that's fine. But I do. And I know he's real. Because we, me and him, me and Lou used to hang out. Feel me? Like, me and Lou were cool. Like, back in the day, me, like, like, he got me. You know what I mean? But I'm not his anymore. I belong to Jesus, like Jesus Christ. So I'm, I went ahead and applied the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Concealer in the shade three young under my brows. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. So I'm gonna finish my story as I blend this out, okay? So in my dream, I dreamt that me and my husband were in a boat and we were gonna fall off a waterfall, like kind of like Niagara Falls, like that kind of big. It was huge. <laughs> And I remember just praying. We had no, no, nothing to save us. So I remember I was like, I just remember the the, the words of the scriptures where it says, uh, through your faith and I don't know, like I'm paraphrasing here, okay? Um, basically, you're, through your faith, you will be saved in Jesus Christ. So I went ahead and started praying in my dream, praying like hardcore, where I felt like, the the prayer was like radiating out, radiating out of my chest like going to heaven okay like i was praying really hard in my dream and i started to pray and i started to like i started to panic but my faith gave me comfort if that makes sense so i remember i kept praying and praying and praying and praying and i dreamt that we were gonna go over with that mac translucent powder i'm just grabbing a brush and just setting my brow eyebrow along with the concealer that I've placed down. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in really light today. I'm gonna use the, I'm just gonna use the bronzer that I used for my forehead. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit on a brush. This is a BH cosmetic brush. I got this for like a dollar. It was like three for a dollar um, at TJ Maxx. It was on clearance like a while ago and it came with like a little kit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a, like place a little bit in my crease just to give my eye some dimension but like i was saying um me and my husband were in uh in the boat and we were about to tip over so let me tell you really quickly before i okay so the this was like it was a 90 degree angle okay and this was the boat this is me and my husband in the boat and i dreamt that like we were going on the river the mist of darkness is here it's light and day and like a river and all that stuff here so I dreamt that we were like this and the boat was tipping over and I kept praying. I was like praying, praying, praying. And I dreamt that the, it was tipping over like this. And I was like, if I go down praying, then I go down praying. But I'm not going to stop. Because I just couldn't. I just, I just couldn't, okay? Like I was desperate in my dream. And I dreamt that the, like, it was a 90, 90 degree fall, okay? I dreamt that it was like a 90 degree fall. And we were like this. And... As I'm praying and we're and the boat starts to like tip over like this with me and my husband in it, I dreamt that somebody came from behind me, like both of us, and like I can't even do it in the screen, but like came from behind us and like hugged us and like pulled us away. And I saw that's when I saw everything so clearly. I saw the mist of darkness over here. It was black, you couldn't see anything past it. I saw the light 
and the trees and you know the river and the river was going really steady it was just going really steady like we were just going like this though it wasn't like the waves were really violent or anything like that there was no waves it was just like a stream like a like a river like a, a like a waterfall but it was just very it was a waterfall but it was very it was very um steady that's what i'm trying to think it was very steady i'm just picking up a little bit more of that um that color uh that bronzer that debutante back onto my um and i'm just gonna place a little bit like right there just like that do the same thing to this side and then blend it out so yeah that was really scary and then in my dream i i like when i saw that like the, i didn't turn around and see who was saving us um i just thought that the person that was saving us had an aura that was so bright that it was like it overwhelmed us like with the brightness and i dreamt i remember i was like smiling when i was like looking at the boat because the boat was tipping over and i was supposed to be in that boat with my husband and we were saved and i woke up smiling i had that dream and that was the end of the dream so it was sorry it's pretty long but like it was three different parts and i wanted to explain it now back in january i got lucky and i got i caught wind of the story in wuhan china i got lucky um i started to watch it really closely and something told me not to ignore it and then so the second part of my dream which is the change the change in the church happened and the river part which i'm not going to explain exactly because that's too personal but like the boat part with me and my husband that already happened that happened back in October when I started my channel. So now we're in April, we're April 2nd. It's a Thursday, like I mentioned before, if I haven't mentioned it, this is why I'm doing the Real Talk Thursday thing. Um, just kind of like an update also. And I'm just kind of like chilling right now. Like I'm doing my makeup and I'm just like hanging out with you guys. That's just how I see it. Like you, right now, you and me, whoever's watching this, like you and me are sitting down watching each other. Like not watch. <laughs> right now you and me are hanging out it's you and me time like we're just hanging out i'm just doing makeup and you're just listening to my story and if you have any story that you want to tell me go ahead like i am here i am pendiente like i'm aware of you guys you know going in with the sephora pro crease 10 brush i'm just gonna go in and dip a little bit more of that powder i feel like i need to dot, like diffuse that a little bit more okay that's two out of three so I was, you know, watching this whole thing because I was like kind of paranoid. Asking, I was like, Heavenly Father, like, what does this dream mean? Kind of scared me. Like, what are you trying to tell me? And I just felt like, like my answer was in the scriptures and I didn't realize it. Like I had to restart the Book of Mormon to understand my dream. Like I remember I was reading a part where there were, like Nephi, who was like the first character in the, in the Book of Mormon, he talks about his dad having a dream. And he talks about his dad having like when i'm listening because i was like listening to it one day and he was like talking about the mr darkness and i was like oh my gosh that was it and it was like the mr darkness like what it meant and all that so like that's when i understood it and i was like oh, okay thank you for that heads up now that's why i you know back in february february 6 i ordered my mask for me and my entire family family I like my mask has like a filter in it which is like so it goes mask like the outside barrier and then it has like um like a filter and then it has like another place where the filter is held and and it's washable which I really do enjoy that like that feature and um sorry I just want to make sure that this is like I like this eye better I feel like I'm gonna I feel like this eye is different from this eye, this eye and I feel like this eye always comes out better. I went ahead and put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder in the shade Medium. Medium too. I put a little bit of that on my lid and I'm going to put a little bit under my my under eye just to brighten it up a little bit cuz your girl is needs as much help as she can get. Um to brighten up anything. I'm wearing white that's what i'm like eh. <laughs> um but yeah that was it the dream was intense and i remember praying about it asking god about it and then when i started to see that certain things were coming true i was like eh. um 
that was pretty that was pretty alarming the lower mercier i love more lower mercier if you haven't noticed um but i'm using the lower mercier uh glow transistent glow powder i have a little mini one that i got from sephora that's so i'm like trying to be very um very gentle with this guy but i'm just using it with a morphe m501 brush i'm gonna go back and fix that guy i'm struggling with that one right now but i'm not gonna worry about it so i'm just gonna apply just a tiny little bit i'm gonna put that same powder in my inner corner this is one eyelash curled this one isn't i'm gonna go ahead and curl this one and then put mascara on one thing I always like to do before I put my mascara on is put on Fix Plus. So I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit on my face. I've changed my mind. I'm going in with the La Cream Shop 702. I'm going with this one. I used it in my last video. Uh, I'm just going to go in with this guy because I feel like the other one was way too much for my eye. And then my mascara got on my lid, so I'm like trying to fix it. Um, but while this is drying, I wanted to finish up my like my story. Um, like my dream. So the first part has come true now. My area is on lockdown. Um, like stay at home order, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I dreamt that it was like more extreme, and I dreamt that I dreamt that Donald Trump was president when it happened. Now, I had been waiting this whole time, and I was just like, when January hit, um, I had to make a business decision. That impacted me gravely and i remember praying about it and i was like heavenly father is this it is this it like do i pull out like do i pull out of this you know contract that i'm in like i, can, I still have time to do it blah 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 and um and the answer was yes so i pulled out and i would like it benefited me greatly because i would have lost money during this time especially because no one no one should be traveling like that and then um okay my lashes i think they're done now and i do like to like bend them a little bit to like try to get them to um, to adapt to my eye better. <laughs> I really like to like do this wiggling sensation and try to get it as much as possible to be um, like curved. So the whole reason why I'm telling you the story is because, you know, my dream is because I was thinking this morning, I was like about the person that um, was mocking me for wearing a mask and I was like, you know what? You're an essential worker. Um, and I'm praying for you. Because it, like the other day I saw an interview and they were like, how do you react to people? Like they were asking the guy in the interview. They were like, and he's Christian. He's not of my faith, but he's Christian. Like he's not of my, my, like, my church, but he's Christian. And he was like, they were asking him, they're like, how do you feel when people come at you? And it was so funny, his, his response, because it was so real, so raw. He was like... He was like, oh, it's different when you're standing there as like standing there and, and everybody's coming at you, you know, it's totally different. He was like, because that's when the true Christian inside you has to like shine. And he was like, because like, he's like the other part of me, like the human part of me wants to go. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and I was like, bruh, yo, <laughs> people like people be testing you, man. And I'm like. I, I felt that I felt that on a so like because it like when she was mocking me in front of me like I was like really did you do you not know what's going on in the world like and I ordered my mask back in like February February 6th and the last time my kids attended like I've been in quarantine since March 6th like I was like okay it's happening it's happening and like I try to warn as many people as I can and I'm sorry I didn't warn you guys I'm sorry um I think I was I wasn't filming during that time I was like really trying to just make sure that everybody that I knew physically I knew was like okay because I was like it's coming and like nobody believed me like probably like two people out of like everyone that I told and I and like you know I don't know that made me feel some type of way because I was like really but okay and then when I checked in on them I'm like did, so did you get supplies they were like yeah I'm like yeah, you no one believed me. And like I had somebody tell me they're like, I still don't. I was like, What? I was like, fine. Um, but my warning was there, you know, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. Like I was really busy, you know, just making sure that I had stuff for my kids. You know, I like I said, I, I have a special needs child. I'm not one of those people that are like super gifted that it can just pop on a lash, like without even looking. I had to like stare and like pinch and like 
look at myself 500 billion times because <laughs> I get like paranoid I'm gonna be like <laughs> I'm gonna be, like I saw this video the other day <laughs> I saw this video the other day and I sent it to my friend and I was like, that's me. And it was like lashes going like this. And I was like, bruh. <laughs> so like, you know, and especially I don't like to wear too much lashes just because like the tugging at your natural uh, lash and lid and all that. Like, so I try my hardest not to wear lashes too much, but I feel like wearing them today. And I like these because they're light. I'm going to go in and tight line. I always do this step, especially when I wear falsies. So I'm just going to go ahead, and this is with Marc Jacobs Black, um, the black one. I usually just pop this into, because I wear contacts, so I, I like to tilt my head back. Sorry. I'm going in with Billion Dollar Brows for my, uh, for my gel, my eyebrow gel. I've been, I've been favoring this guy lately. It's been, I've been enjoying it. I'm going to clean up everything in a few, but for lips, I'm going in with Sephora 96 this is a red shade um i really like the fenty one the the red lipstick that she it's not a lipstick it's like a paint but the thing is like it would get everywhere and that's why i'm like nah nah bruh this one stays put so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this guy up. to line my lips i'm going in with half red by mac this is just the finished look I usually like to wear red lipstick when I'm wearing white or black, like a black shirt or a white shirt. I usually like to wear red. I feel like it looks good on my skin tone when I do do that step. Like when I do too much colors, it's too, like I feel like it's too much. Okay, guys, that wraps up my Get Ready With Me Real Talk Thursday. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. It was really therapeutic. I've been dying to share that with you guys, um, the story of my dream. The, the three sections and to see all three of them come true i am beyond grateful with god that he um that he warned me i know other people have been warned but like i knew this was gonna happen two years ago i knew this was gonna happen like i had no doubt in my mind that this was gonna happen but when i started to see actually see it you know happen i was like praying like crazy and i was like heavenly father is this really it is this it like is this the moment like you know and i felt it it was like yeah this is it like get like bunker down and i'm like all right so i remember like ordering my mask back in february 6 i remember pulling out my kids like i remember just watching everything and i remember seeing the like this video that came out back in january it was like two weeks after like the lockdown and this guy um because if you don't know china has youtube blocked and that's why like people tried to get the word out they some people really did try and even have gone have disappeared over it so the one video that i saw back in january that really impacted me because the guy had a mask on and he was like we've been locked down in wuhan china for two weeks and i was like something inside my heart told me is like pay attention this isn't you shouldn't take this lightly so i didn't and then um like two weeks later so a month in i saw a uh, another video of a reporter who had gone missing and he was just like it's been a month he's like cursing at the government and all this other stuff and i was just like ew like i mean for me to see an asian man like lutz is cool it's or not like i don't know like because they're so like they're trained to be proper so like to see them like break character i was just like oh this is you know i'm not saying that people don't like asians don't curse like of course they curse but i'm just saying like this man looks so proper and for him to like lose like break you know i was just like ooh, like something told me to pay attention so i did and then like a couple weeks later, no, like maybe like the next week after that, an Asian woman came up to one of my friends at Costco while I was talking to her. And she starts asking about like masks, like but in bulk. And she's like, do you sell those? And she's like, no. And I just felt like it was one of those, um, I felt like Brad Pitt in World War Z where he's like paying attention to all the clues. Like I was just like, okay, this is, this is it. This is it, like where I have to order. So I put placed my order February 6th. And I got the mask for my family and like those who are um, like have com compromised immune systems in my family. So I ordered for them and like my, my son has it. My husband, like they all have. Okay, really quickly. My husband is an essential worker and he wears the mask. He also has pollen allergies every year. He gets them really bad because he's been wearing the mask. He's been saying that he hasn't really had a flare-up 
So I said, okay, if it's blocking the pollen, okay, the mask is blocking the pollen, helping you breathe better, it can also block out germs. Protect yourselves, people. That's all I want to tell you is protect yourselves. I have linked a video where they make masks. Um, they sent that one to from like in an email through the church and I will link it below. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know um, because this is serious. And this is like, I had an essential worker mock me for wearing my mask and that's where I went into my whole, um, my whole dream thing because I saw this coming years ago when God showed me in a dream. And when I saw two parts, two of the three parts come true, I panicked when I saw the third part coming true because I was like, I jumped that there was a lockdown and I'm like, okay, is this happening? Is it happening? I didn't, I didn't think at one point that it was going to be a virus. I, I just thought it was going to be Donald Trump, you know, being him, you know, because I didn't vote for him. I voted for Hillary. Um, and I was just like, oh, you know, maybe, you know, he's just going to do some military thing, blah, 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 blah. But then when the virus hit, I was like, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Like, I just felt like, you know, I just went into full like mama mode trying to protect my kids and that's where you do see like a little gap where i was you know not posting videos for a little bit because i'm usually consistent but that was where i started to like slow down and like really like bunker down for my kids because like i said i do have a child who is special needs so i was making sure that you know he was good and you know it's been real it's been real guys um and i really hope you guys enjoyed the real talk thursday edition makeup si le gustan let me know um i really enjoyed making this for you guys uh i and i oh before i forget you guys youtube is for everybody it doesn't matter what race what color anything it's meant for everybody i can do it you can do it if you ha feel like you have nothing to share trust me my experience in life is completely separate and different from yours except this one thing where we're all doing this together this group project that some people are not listening <laughs> that's what it feels like it feels like when they t tell you you know stay home and some people don't and like they really aren't doing it but what is what is this what is this ¿Qué está pasando? like okay you see this is what i mean like my hair tries to get in the video so the video has been long enough guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it stay safe and i hope that i was able to lift you guys up in any way shape or form just remember that i am here for you guys and i hope you guys are safe and please pray for the homeless and the nurses and doctors and um yeah have a good one guys Bye. wow this thing is a look what happened oh what <laughs> oh gosh but please behave oh my gosh what is this what is this what what like this i should just cut this but i won't because i like to have it in a ponytail i really hope you enjoyed this get ready with me to be sitting in the casa in the, in the sala wherever i'm trying to be cute for my husband <laughs> i'm just embracing what the heck is this <laughs> This is why I don't like to record my hair. Like, I'd be, like, chopping on my hair like this. I'd be like, y'all can't see.